Now, I'm going to show you exactly alkanes for their formula and structure first. But, hang on there. Before we go on further, I want to bring your attention or bring you to back to the remembrance of this thing called methane. Now, methane under is under the category of alkane. But before we go on, okay, I know. I'm going to ask you to draw out the electronic structure of methane, formula CH4. Quickly, take a look at your periodic table and you tell me, what kind of bond is this? I'm waiting, yes. Okay, if you can find C and you can find H, they are both non-metals. Non-metals and non-metals, when they combine together, you actually form what kind of bond? Tell me. Ah, you are right. Okay, if your answer is covalent bond, bingo. So covalent bonds share electrons. Okay, so bear with me. I know some of you will be wondering, Miss Selena, why talk about covalent bond here? Yes, yes. Okay, let's learn the structure. Nonetheless, you'll be learning that in your exam as well. Okay, so CH4. So let's draw carbon. Total, they have six electrons. First shell got two. Okay, second shell got four. So we are drawing the electronic structure of the covalent bond or CH4. Four, okay, so one, two, three, and four. Okay, they share with hydrogen, so H, dot and cross, so this will be a cross. Yes, I'm drawing the dot and cross of methane. H cross. H and a cross, okay. So, aha, uh -huh. now this is the structure of methane. Now, for methane here, is the same as the methane under alkane. Now, why do I bring this here? Because, watch, to represent the structure of organic, instead of you drawing all this thing out, okay, they actually just require you to do one thing. They only require you to show them the outermost electron. So, I will clean away the one in the, last, in the inner shell so that I left with only the outer shell. Secondly, instead of asking you to draw out all the electrons to show them, under organics, the good news is you can actually show the entire structure in this manner. Okay? Instead of showing the pair of electrons, you can actually draw one line. H, one line. H, one line. H, one line. H. Now, the line here represents a shared pair of electrons. So this part here actually represents your carbon and your hydrogen shared pair of electrons. But do you need to draw out all this? No, you don't even need to show them the dot and cross. It is known. That means under organics, when you draw out the structure, all this line represents one shared pair of electrons. All this line represents one shared pair of electrons. Can you see? First, you draw out the structure, alright? They only show the outermost electrons. And then, you clean away all the shell, alright? This line represents one shared pair. And this is a simplified version when they ask you to draw the structure of an organic compound, okay? So some people, when they look at this in exam, they were thinking, huh, how come got hyphen one? How come all this line got hyphen, got line, 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 line? No! It means a shared pair of electrons. Do you get that? Now, as you can see over here, I already came up with the alkanes family. Remember I mentioned to you before, monkey eat proper butter, methane, ethane, propane, butane. Now, and they represent the number of C. Methane here represents one C. Okay, the structure just now that I taught you is C H4, right? So they have H here, you have an H here, and you have an H here, and you have an H here. Okay, can you see? It's exactly what I taught you just now. Now, from the structure, then you come up with a formula because C is 1C. How many hydrogen are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is CH4. Okay, so this is 1C. Ethane means what? 2C. So how do I make sense out of 2C? I draw them side by side. And one carbon, by now you will know that there are four electrons at the outer shell where they will share. So, there will be four lines. One, two, three, and four. Okay, I hope you can see it's not too crampy. So, H, 
H, H. Same thing, H, H, and H. From the structure, you then come up with the formula. C2, H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Propane, 3C. Same thing, okay? You can practice right now. So how many C are there? 3C, right? 1, 2, 3. And every carbon got 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. H, H, and H. This has 2 already. 1 line, 2 lines. Okay, I's over here. H here and H here. Now, 1 line here, how many more to go? 3 more. 1, 2, 3. H, H, H. Alright. And same thing, you count C, 3, H. Count the number of hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. C, 3, H, 8. Last but not least, we have our butane. 1C, 2C, 3C, and this is your 4C. You can go all the way to pentane, alright? And, of course, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, do you get this? Same thing. I insert the H. I hope it's not cut off. And you can see it very clearly. Okay, and this is C4H. Let's count the number of H. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. C4, H, 10. Okay, now, the general formula here, if you do math, e-math, I'm sure that you can see a little bit of wow, number pattern here. Hey, you are correct. Okay, if you know this, you can actually use this formula in your number pattern. The formula here is actually CNH, 2N plus 2. The N represents the number of carbon. So, if there's one carbon... C1. So C1 is your N. H2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. That's why you get 4 here. So if this is 2, C2. This part here is 2. So 2 and C2 here. H2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So there are two ways to learn this. Either you remember the formula or I will advise you. Why not? Remember the structure first. I always like you to remember the structure first. Why? Because by, memorize, by memorizing this formula, you have to come up with this before you come up with this. But if your thought pattern is, oh, I remember one carbon got four electrons at the outer shell. Then they share with the hydrogen, it makes more sense. And then by drawing the structure, you will come up with a formula. Structure, formula, structure, formula. And... Isn't that easier for you to uh, take in? Okay, so alkane, methane, ethane, propane, butane. The name represents the number of C and one carbon will always have four electrons at the outer shell represented by the line.